I've done some work, guys. <laughs> You're going to be so pleased. I've added those lasers. What we haven't done is Obi taking the tractor beam down. Where he goes, boom. What are some of the options here? I like the idea of looking down into a big cavern. If such a thing is possible. Okay, maybe possible here. What does this look like? Ah, there's a big column and a walkway. And he hides behind the column, which is where the controls are. For some reason, there's no handrail. You just have to, like, climb up a sheer wall to operate this Death Star. So we'll put that there, always with the black. They must have had, like, such a discount on paint before they made this film. I mean, this really is going to take some work blocking out all these... We're going to have to, like, imagine none of these trees are here. It's really... <laughs> tree's really not helpful. Maybe this isn't the place to do it because like that bit there is so small we're not really going to be using it hardly because we're going to put a platform here. No. Okay. I changed my mind. Right now don't bomb the wrong scene. Obi, how big are you? Okay. So that's the scale. That's where the wall's going to be. And now our... Is there a better way to do a walkway? And now our walkway that our stormtroopers are going to be walking along. And I do believe that it is at a higher level... <laughs> okay, this is looking good. He's currently floating. Maybe we should put him on something. I don't think we need to. I'm not too worried about it. They're going to be walking along up here. And they walk around, they're like, Did you check the theme above? And he's like, Nah, it's probably fine. Right, he's going to walk along here. Let's turn you around. And you can be like thinking about stuff. Thinking about all that work you're meant to be doing. Guarding strange inaccessible bits of machinery pace back the other way <laughs> i don't really know what they do i can't remember he crawls around from the side doesn't he he's like here and he walks around and he presses he pulls a lever ah right okay let's make it red i think it has a red light on it sure that's the one you're aiming for so you're gonna walk over you're gonna obi charlie mimi here we go <laughs> he only answers to Mimi. Okay, here we go. So he's going to walk around the side, like, all sneaky. Greet puts his hand up. Ah, and it is his right hand, which is good. Okay, so we just need to bring him in a little bit. Turn him round. Hopefully now he will touch the lever. Oh my gosh, he does! Yes! I love it when things like that come together. We just may need to make sure that we bring the lever down with him. So we need a sort of, like, beep noise. Beep times two. <laughs> Compelling. Possibly. Maybe we'll come back to it. Cat Nugent growl. Oh my gosh, what's that? That's horrible. Let's never use that for anything. I think that is actually better than um, than the zaps. He just then starts like creeping off in the other direction. Music. We need a sneaking. Oh, I've got his jaws. Yeah, let's go with Jaws. <laughs> they do talk at one point, and they say like, Hmm, check this thing. Hmm, I don't know. I'll check to see if there's time before dinner. Perfect. Kind of didn't want him to say it at the start of the scene. Anyway, right, okay, let's see how it looks. Hmm, I don't know. I'll check to see if there's time before dinner. Nice and simple. They're having their duel. Go to the last okay, Mixie, thanks. And now... We need to do the classic 180 reveal where they look through the other way and we see them fighting in front of the ship. And there's a big hole in the ground and then Luke's like, yeah! Remember that? Them in the middle, the big hole here, a little bit of the falcon in our peripheral. We need our guys to run in here and then Obi want to do his disappearing axe and fail to do the stampy stampy on the floor. Okay, right, good. Copy that. Oh, <laughs> hello. Okay, we'll use you later. You just float there, sir, until we're ready. Here he is. Okay, how far away is he if he's over there? Oh my god, you wouldn't even recognise it's him! <laughs> he's so small. We kind of just want you to be like that size. Stand here. Get ready to do some shooting. They're all like watching the fight happen. Not that they have like work to do or anything. Now, of course, <laughs> you'll notice this, uh, this looks completely different from where they were fighting, in fact, a few moments ago. But, uh, do 
Don't worry about it. Okay, now we need the edge of the falcon on our left hand side. Clipping into us weirdly. Is it just me or is it or in the film where like Luke's the only one who seems to care? Like Leia doesn't even look over there. Big chewy. Get your cottage cheese on. So basically they're all gonna run over and they're all gonna <laughs> just look across the chasm. So we need a fight. <laughs> the law. Oh my gosh. This is like Imperial March. I'm game for it. We need the droids and we need the droids to just... They, they're going to go straight past. They're going to be like, like, fuck this, I'm out of here. <laughs> you forgot me last time. I'm not getting left behind again. Leia's going to be running and then she's going to be like, what? No, you're not going to wave. You're going to yell. You're going to yell. In fact, like, whilst looking at him. No! And then the lasers are going to start and everyone runs off. Oh no, a rat! So we can do, oh no, we do the stopper on him and hopefully he'll stop yelling after oh no. So tiny, I'm not even sure if it's in his hand. <laughs> Floating lightsabers, courtesy of Kraya and KOTOR 2. No, we're not doing that. Fighty fighty. He does a, like, a, like a real asshole like walk slow over the top and be like, yeah, he's definitely dead. I don't know why I put the lightsabers in before real and then any of the rest of the action. Basically can't see it. I'm gonna have to do that off stream because I just can't cannot see it. Fighty fighty. Maybe we'll like sees him, acknowledges that he's there, and then disappears with his Nope. Right, now we just need to put his clothes on the floor. Now bear with me. <laughs> Ah, pretty good. Can't change the colour. It's at that point <laughs> where um, the door closes on him <laughs> for some reason. Somebody screams, close the blast doors. I don't remember when that occurs. Or do they scream, open the blast? Oh my god. See, I've not rewatched it. I'm not allowed to. So if that goes down, is that going to... Okay, so he needs to walk in front of that plane of being. Or rather, walk behind it. Just ignore those lightsabers. Then this... Come further down, and then further down. <laughs> Vader really needs to get his ass in gear to get inside that door before it closes. <laughs> Fly in the air. Uh, Circus C-3PO in Return of the Jedi. Walk around. He's still on the wrong side. I know what we'll do. We'll just throw him on the other side. Oh wow, okay, it's a long way. It's a long way! We'll just cut the scene. Problem solved. <laughs> Problem solved! Just cut the scene short. Oh, of course I did, yeah. Oh no! Okay, the oh no worked. Um. I would say that. Obi-Wan just disappeared very quickly there, without really, like, <laughs> just immediately vanished. When Luke shouts, no, that's when everybody is like, oh, we should be doing some work. And they start, <laughs> like, shooting at them and things. Like a silly, silly kick thing. And then they fly away. Surely they're, oh, yes, of course. Don't get cocky. <laughs> <laughs> How are we going to do this one? I need to run in and beat bop the buttons, and then he he has a he has a think about it, what to do, and then Han's like, "Go shoot lasers, slash I'll come with you." Leia like uh, sits down. Chewie can be like doing some things. That's the end of that. Easy. First of all, we'll do the Millennium Falcon flying away. So I can't remember if that occurs, but I feel like it ought to. Okay, fly off. And now how on earth are we going to do TIE Fighters? Props that we have available. Mm. <laughs> Flying ambulances? How do we feel about that? Attack. Da, da, da. That's the one. I'm going to create a, um, a TIE Fighter inverted commas. Bear with me and give me your opinion. Don't dismiss it straight away. Maybe see what I'm going for? Okay, opinion. 
TIE Fighter. <laughs> I mean, it looks more like a Chris Dingle than a TIE Fighter, I would say. We'll just use a ball for our TIE Fighter at the moment, and we will, um, I'll come back to that, and, um, I'll give you a, a new pitch. That's going to be in the front, but we're not going to put it there right now, because it's going to be in the way of everything else I'm doing. So basically, this thing's just going to fly around. Bang. Now we'll do the laser. It'll look gorge. Short for gorgeous, not short for absolutely the worst thing you've ever seen. Oh, no miss. Did you see that? Just like, no, not you. The laser. No. All right. Well, we can't even see it, so we're just going to have to pretend it's not there. And Luke's just going to be really good at this. And he's going to get it in two shots. Oh, I can't ever get that laser back. Okay, and now we need to put a good... A good noise. We need an explosion. Quite like that one. There's always um, sounds of things blowing up in space. That's how space works, right? Why are there three lasers? What? How have I done this? Oh yeah, that's how time works. If you put something in at the beginning, it just stays there. I forgot how time worked. Anyway, ignore the lasers. Let's see how it looks. Okay, lasers work a bit like darts in this universe. If they get stuck in the sky, they just stay there, like on a cork board. They just fly off. It's like, huzzah. They go straight to the planet, the forested planet, which is completely different from any other forested place that may or may not have to do with other very similar fights later in the film franchise. We need more space and we just need the Falcon. And they're going to fly towards... A planet that looks incredibly like Alderaan. <laughs> Off we go. You've made it. We need a heroic music. Cool news. Ah, yeah. We escaped. We may have lost our best friend, but we're feeling pretty good. No. Stress chase. Oh, this is what we wanted on the previous scene. Right. Stress chase. Hang on. What was that about? Distant hope. They are hopeful. They might pull this off. I feel like I'm missing a big scene out, but that's okay. And then they fly over a forest. Oh my god, look, we even have these, like, ancient ruins. Which is what they're hiding in! They're hiding in Aztec, Az Az Aztec Temple. Oh, it's, it's, it's perfect and beautiful. Off the go. Go over there. Okay. I gotta really work. Work on my mouse. Ah, we get to cast somebody. Now, who have we not really used? This guy. Sure, he can be the lookout. And you can, like, say hello as they come in. You're like, hello, heroes. Well done. Fly. They land and they... Luke's like, hey, it's my best friend. He's here now. Biggs? There's a briefing and then Han's like... I'm leaving. So I think it's the briefing next. Oh, well, we've not used this yet, and I mean, we're, we're running out of film. We better use it. Well, um, <laughs> I'm not so sure. We haven't used it. If we don't use it now, we won't. We'll just block out. We'll block out some of this. Okay, so they're looking at a picture of the Death Star. So we put better put the Death Star on the wall. And then they talk about the channel. So let's do the channel like that. And then, <laughs> here we go, a little, a little circle. A little circle in the middle. That's the place you're aiming for. Beautiful diagram of the Death Star. We need the person who's giving the briefing, and I've entirely forgotten what they look like. Maybe you could give the briefing. Oh, yeah. Can you wear a hat? Oh, <laughs> you can wear shades. Even better. Okay, so Luke's gonna be here. Oh, I used to shoot stuff like that all the time at home. And Biggs is like, Are you kidding? It's the size of a trash can. He's like, Yeah, it's no sweat. This is Biggs. Hat. Ah, <gasps> top hat. Okay, I'll leave it like that. I'll add in more people, but she's going to chat. They do like a like a little demonstration, don't they? Of like the beep 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 pow, and then it explodes. And then we need you to move along. Move along, move along, and then the whole presentation blows up, I think. Bang, and then she's like, 
I wasn't even clicking anywhere near you, Biggs. Any questions? I am going to leave it there, I think. We've done a lot of action scenes today. We are very close to finishing now. We've got the final battle in the sky with the X-Wing formation, which will be interesting. We'll have some music on this. They finally meet! <laughs> what spirit? I quite like that. Let's watch what we've done today. Okay, so we'll watch this and then we'll watch what comes afterwards and then we will leave there. Save it. Here we go. We didn't really add much speech on today. There may be a few opportunities for speech in some of the scenes. Lasers. Um, maybe there should be a noise for when Obi Wan dies. I don't think there is a noise. I think he just just vanishes, isn't he? This music's awful. Why is this like cowboy music on? I forgot to change that. This is what we want. We want that on the previous scene. <laughs> That's of course um, a TIE fighter with dart lasers. Off they go. They're finally safe for now. The lookout waves them on. I think this is the music I just chose. Oh, I put it at the end of the scene. <laughs> you idiot. But there wasn't enough music on this. We needed the, um, I don't even know, was it a fight moment? Oh my god. <laughs> is that going to get really frustrating playing over and over again? <laughs> no, stop. We can't. We can't do that. I don't know. We'll figure it out next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the silliness. I reckon one more stream will finish it.